Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to adjust point type regulator. This is a point type regulator with two coils. One is for the voltage relay and the other one is for the voltage regulator. Now the voltage relay and the voltage regulator can be identified by flipping the regulator and look the underside. The one with the resistor is the voltage regulator. So one coil is riveted here and the other coil is riveted right here. If you flip on this direction, you can find that this is the voltage regulator and this one is the voltage relay. So this is the voltage relay, this is the voltage regulator. If, for example, you want to stop the voltage at 14.8 volt, then all you have to do is adjust the voltage by which this coil is activated. The voltage can be adjusted by simply bending the spring seat. There is a spring seat right here. This, the black one is the spring. This is the spring. The upper one is the spring. This is the spring. By adjusting the spring seat, this is the spring seat, by bending it up and down, you can adjust the magnetism that is required to pull this armature. Now, when the spring seat is bent upward, for example, the spring tension is increased, that will increase the voltage setting of the regulator. If this spring seat is bent down, that will make this armature closer to the coil, that can make it pull easily, that will reduce the voltage setting. Now, if the voltage of your charging system is lower, all you have to do is have a long nose plier and bend the spring seat only. Try to stay away from the spring. If the spring is bent, if the spring is deformed, it will lose its function. So make extra care not to touch the spring. Only the spring seat has to be bent upwards. Same thing is true for the voltage relay. There is a voltage relay right here. The voltage relay is actually operated with a smaller voltage. The coil has a smaller resistance and it is operated with a smaller voltage. This is usually turned on by a voltage as low as 5 volt. It is operating from 5 to 7 volt. It should close from 5 to 7 volt. If it is not closing with 5 to 7 volt, then you can tweak this, simply pry the spring seat and adjust accordingly. So let's go ahead and uh, see how this is done on actual vehicle installed with this point type regulator. Stay away from the spring and always try to adjust this spring seat only. Now let's go ahead and adjust First, we will run the engine and see the voltage reading at the battery. And then you will see that the voltage is not increasing as it should. And then we'll go ahead and change the setting of the spring seat. And then redo the voltage measurement again. When you accelerate, the voltage should increase. It should increase and stop increasing after a certain value. Now that is what we are going to obtain. So let's go ahead and see how the voltage regulatory adjusted on an actual vehicle. Well, as you have seen, even though the engine has been accelerated, the voltage is not increasing. The voltage is not up to the standard. For this type of uh, car electrical system, we are expecting somewhere around 14.8 volts. But when it is accelerated, still the voltage is remaining low. So we have to pry the spring seat of the voltage regulator. We have to bend it up by using long nose player, insert it in here, bend it up so that the magnetism required for for pulling this will increase and that will increase the overall voltage of the charging system. Now let's go ahead and uh, adjust this and uh, do the test again. 
If you want to check out how the voltage regulator operates, there is a video in the, in the description. You can go ahead and check how to identify the different terminals and uh, how the voltage regulator operates. You can have a look at that video. This video is only concerned with the adjustment of the voltage. Now, the voltage regulator is adjusted by bending the spring set. See this lower part? This is the spring set. You should be bending it up to increase the voltage and bending it down to decrease the voltage. Use a long nose plier inserted in between the spring and the spring set. So you simply bend it up. This will push this armature away from the coil. So that will increase the voltage required to pull it down. If the spring is deformed, it cannot be adjusted. So always avoid touching the spring at all costs. This black part is the spring. Try to avoid contacting this at all costs. Insert a long nose plier right in here and bend it up. For our case, because the voltage is now reduced, we want to increase it to 14 volt, bending this a little up. Well, as you have observed, changing the spring seat, bending it up have increased the charging system voltage. Now, this is how voltage regulator is adjusted. If it is beyond what has been expected, you can always bring it down. You can change the voltage setting by bending it slightly. Extra care should be taken not to excessively deform it. So that is how it is done. Bend it a little, check again, then again, then again. Do this repeatedly until you have the voltage setting required for your vehicle. Always remember, usually the voltage relay does not require adjustment. It is the voltage regulator that we are usually going to adjust. So by simply bending the spring seat, you can change the voltage setting of your vehicle. So the charging voltage can be decided by bending the spring seat. Always remember, stay away from the spring. Always adjust the spring seat. If the voltage setting of the charging system is not correct, always go ahead and adjust the voltage, the voltage regulator spring seat only. And also make sure that you have nice contact between these two contact points. The contact point, one is an ignition terminal. This is a line coming from the ignition and this is a line going to the field coil of the alternator. Always make sure that these have a nice contact. Otherwise, insert the sandpaper and uh, smoothen it out. There are usually some arcing that can erode the contact point. So that can be corrected by sanding with a sandpaper. So make sure that these contacts are nice. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you uh, regarding how to adjust the point type voltage regulator. If you like what has been presented, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.